Okay, so people have been asking me, what about for more expensive cards? What do you do? So I use, for example, the Lugia V and the Dura Ludon V Max. Um, this one is worth approximately sixteen. This is worth approximately fifteen dollars. The way I ship these is still in plain weight envelopes. Um, pretty inexpensive. So I use the Cruiser V One. Uh, with this, this can hold two top loaders. I mean, there's two different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you this way, which is easiest. So it holds two top loaders right inside. And I mean, the more you put in, which this is supposed to hold only two, but once you put in one, it becomes pretty inflexible. And then once you put in two, it's it's just like you put in cardboard around it. So it's, let, it's more sturdy. It's perfect. Um, so once I put them in there, I'll go ahead and take another tamper-proof seal. Take that, I will go ahead and seal it. And again, these tamper-proof seals, um, after about a day or two, they get stickier and stickier. So when you go to try to peel that off, you're gonna either take off the cardboard or you're gonna leave a void hologram underneath so you know that someone opened it. Um, but that happens usually after a day or two of it come, uh, staying on. If you leave it on longer, it actually becomes even more and more sticky, which is pretty cool. Um, but so you have two in here, which makes it very inflexible. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the TCG order page. Hold it up, make sure it's nice and perfect delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and take my plain white envelope, put it in first, and then these fit the Cruiser V1s just as same as the regular V2s, they fit right inside. So it's not like it's gonna stick out or anything like that. It fits perfectly. You can go ahead and seal it up. Make that perfect. And then I use a, another tamper-proof seal. Um, some people prefer to use tamper-proof seals. Some people like to put like a little ice, I always say put like a logo sticker on there if you want to. And I mean, these have my logo on it, so it's pretty cool. Um, but also these are tamper-proof seals. So if you try to peel this off, you're either gonna rip the paper off or you're gonna leave that void symbol and holograms uh, or holographic letters underneath it, which is pretty cool. Um, but you could also put a logo sticker to hold it shut. I always recommend that good for marketing. Um, and then when you're done, you just go ahead and put your sticker on here, your stamps, whatever it is. Um, this weighs approximately two ounces, costs like 81 cents, I believe, uh, when you do it this way. And boom, you're done. Make it simple and easy.